Okay, my name is Father Nicodemus Kisonga from the Congregation of Holy Cross, and you are most welcome. And today, our theme of our reflection is the appointed time is near. The appointed time is near. From the first reading from the book of Daniel, we hear the story about the difficulties moment. And in fact, this book was written in year 165 BC when the king Antiochus used to control the temple and definitely he imposed the paganism to control the Jews. Therefore, from that moment, life became very, very difficult. And because the book of Daniel is among of the apocalyptic literature, it has many images. Sometimes these images can scare us, sometimes can cause fear, and we fail actually to grasp what it's all about. But today, we got another vision from Daniel where he wrote as the time when he was marking the end of persecution after death of King Antiochus in year 164 BC. And during his regime, this king caused a lot of chaos. People were persecuted, Christians were killed, and those who failed to control their faith and also who failed to reach where king wants, he used to kill them. Therefore, those who had faith in God, they failed. In fact, they suffered a lot. Therefore, the point of suffering, the point of death, the point of humiliation, the point of uh, persecution was a little deep during that time. But amid of all that moment, there are some people used to believe in one God. They never want to change even their thought even in a single day. They are persecuted, but they remain constantly faithful to God whom they believe. And that is the message from this book. We are living in the time where we have a lot of chaos in our communities, where the leaders can humiliate the subject. And also even in our communities, we don't love one another. In our families, we fear one another. Persecution is going on, jealous is everywhere. But the message is we should not lose hope even in a single moment because during this moment we are passing through a lot but at the end those who were faithful from the beginning they will get their reward and the reward is very clear from this book there will be a reason they will experience the resurrection it means they will be transformed from death to new life and those who completely fail to be faithful to God, they will get also their reward. And the reward of those people is death. It means that they will die and they will never be resurrected anymore. Therefore, for us who are passing through different uh, humiliation, but we're still having faith during this moment, we have to thank God. We have to continue having hope faith and love to one another because this is the appointed time. When difficulties come more, please, prayers should replace that. And that is the message we got from the, from the gospel of today. Jesus is telling his disciples to understand the signs of time. It's not just only the matter of going to heaven or to move or to follow him, but to understand the signs of time. When we see many things, we can project that this is the beginning of a new season. This is the beginning of a new thing. But now, in reality, is the appointed time is very near. And if the appointed time is very near, we have to identify ourselves. Where do we belong? Because in this time, we have false prophets who can be able to pull some people from one place to another. And they will use the same name of Jesus. This moment we experience a lot of wars. This moment we experience a lot of earthquakes, a lot of persecution, a lot of famine. But the image of God himself 
through us as Christians, we should protect it. We should continue to have faith in him as the way Jesus was trying to communicate about the destruction of the temple from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, verse 2. And also that fulfillment came after his death on the cross from Mark, chapter 15, verses 28 up to 30th. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, if Jesus himself remained focused and at the end God raised him from the dead and also he qualifies him to be a model, that is the message you get from the second, second reading from the book of to the Hebrews. Whereby Jesus himself, amid of all the challenges, he remained faithful. And also, it gives us the message that the sacrifice priests used to offer that moment, it was the blood of animals. But Jesus, he had to offer his own blood so that he can qualify, he, he can qualify us to be like him. So therefore, it is not just the, uh, the, the matter of laughing when we see some people going through different uh, moments and we don't want to help. It's the test. God wants to test. Also, people can test us to see where is our faith. But in the middle of all that, we are supposed to be happy because we believe there is a resurrection. And from that resurrection, we know that we shall be transformed. It means the transformation from death to new life. In the middle of all these things, we need to have hope. We can get the message from the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 23. Jesus is saying, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have troubles, but take heart. I have overcome the word. My brothers and sisters, let us continue. Let us have faith. And the God will give us wisdom, courage, and the more graces will be abundant to us. And the God bless you.